Now, if I'm allowed to have a favourite on my team, then this car is probably it. A, for the fantastic colour. B, for how amazingly low it is. Uh, and C, for its engine package and overall look. It's just a gorgeous looking car. Now, this happens to be a minus fibreglass shell. And up the front, instead of an engine, we've got, if I can open it up, oh, I can't, yes, I can. No engine which immediately probably tells most of you that it's actually a Z Cars package and this car's got a Yamaha R1 in the back. Up front, you've got Z Cars new subframe at the front and that's got these coil springs here which you can just spring, you see there, these coil overs. Uh, and it means it's got fantastic suspension travel this and it also neutralises some of the bumps to you sometimes get from minis when you drop the suspension down slightly. Uh, other things you can see here, fuel tank, little lightweight uh, rad there and that sort of stuff. But let's move to the uh, meaty end of this car, which is at the other end where, to where you'd expect. And again, just look at this lovely detailing here, nice simple boot, that just comes off like that. Now I'm afraid there's not a great deal to see in here, but in there is a late spec Yamaha R1 engine on injection uh, and developing about 160 brake horsepower. That should be great because of course don't forget it's got a six speed sequential gearbox. Uh, lots of frantic action for builder. Let's have a look inside. Okay, quite straightforward in here. Some uh, Cobra Monaco buckets. They should keep Bill well secured. And again, we've got some decent harnesses here. Very simple uh, dash in this car. Fiberglass dash. Sequential gear shift, very straightforward here. Nice tall gear lever. Falls very nicely uh, for Bill, I hope. Uh, we've also, also got some brake bias in this car and also a end of the world flip top starter. Very straightforward, very simple. Should do the, do the trick. Okay, now I've talked about the front suspension uh, with the new Z Cars subframe up front. At the back, of course, it's all new because there's the Z Cars frame in the back here, and that has a trailing arm suspension with coilover dampers uh, and more disc brakes at the back. So it should be a good braking package, as well as quite a compliant, surprisingly compliant perhaps, uh, suspension package. Should work well, I think. Shell, does that change the dynamics of the car? Uh, I don't think so, Ian, no, no. It, it alters the smell, it creaks <laughs> somehow, it, there's a sound about it as well, but uh, no, it, it still works like a mini. Okay, now this car's of course unusual in that it has the Z Cars subframe up front. Yep, I think that's great because it complements the, the whole sort of ethic of the way the rear suspension works. And so now, you know, you've got front and rear suspension seemingly working in harmony, it's very, very good. Brakes on this car, Metro, four pots and vented discs, so not huge brakes, but do they work okay? They're, yes, I, I think they've got the very most out of the hardware on the car because they're working fine under these conditions. We have done very, very long runs in this car, uh, but for what we've done, it's been perfect. How do you find the steering feel on the car? Uh, I like it, actually. The, the steering wheel is very, very upright and right on top of you, which means that you, you feel very enabled to operate the car well. Um, the actual chassis itself steers very well indeed. No, no issues there, even in the damp conditions, it's very good. Uh, and the driving position itself, I mean, obviously the steering wheel's high. What about other things like uh, the gear lever? Uh, gear lever is... You know, the Z cars seems always nicely pointed. They've gone to great lengths to get the seats low in this car, mm. which even, you know, there's plenty of headroom, even with the chopped uh, height of the body. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very comfortable. So that's car. good. Mm. Um, what about the general ride and feel of the car in that respect? Um, 
yeah, it works really well because it moves a lot, so it communicates and you feel it and you, you feel enabled to understand what's happening. Yeah, great, very, very good, even in the difficult conditions. Plenty of oversteer, but controllable oversteer. And of course we've got a Yamaha R1 in the back. Yeah, great engine, as we well know. In the, it goes so nicely in the back of a, a Mini, the z cars conversion, well proven, and you know, this is just another one. Great. Fantastic. Overall summary of the drive? Yeah, really exciting actually. I, I think I think there was more to come from this. We were just we ran slightly short of fuel, and I was probably going to get my best lap together. I think so. Um, yeah, for me, I, I kind of finished the day. This car, we didn't quite unlock everything it had to offer, mm. but nearly, nearly. Interesting. And uh, yeah, certainly exciting thing to drive. I do respect the fact he drove here in it as well. He didn't bring on yes, the trailer. Quite. Brought it here on, the, on the, uh, you know on the road driving it. Good okay, let's have a look at your last lap. Watch this.